What's up everybody, TGI, FBF, thank God it's Flat Bill Friday. It is the first Friday of 2018. I hope you all had a fun, safe, enjoyable, and memorable ringing into the new year. I know I did, it was a lot of fun, and I hope that we're only a couple days into the year, those resolutions are still intact, they're still in play. I know it's a lot easier coming up with an idea or a goal or a resolution. It's much more difficult staying disciplined to it. However, I'm sure we all would agree that if you do stay disciplined to it, the results are typically worth it. So we're only a couple days in. Whatever game you've chosen for 2018, I hope you're still in it and you're still in it to win it. I don't really necessarily have a perfect segue into my topic, but I was watching a video a couple days ago and this girl, she's at the beach. She's got a cracker, a piece of bread or something. She's trying to feed a seagull. And instead of one seagull, there's like a whole flock of seagulls that come chasing after her. And she's running, stammering, doing pirouettes and, and trips and falls into the ocean. And what, meanwhile, this whole flock of seagulls is over her. And whoever's taking the video, they're laughing. It is pretty funny, pretty entertaining. And I, I gave it a little laugh myself. And then immediately started to think, my God, seagulls are so annoying. Like, what purpose do they even serve? Sure, there's a bird expert out there that could tell me the purpose that they serve. That's fine. I, for purposes of this video, I don't really care. The Immediately, my mindset started going to, well, what's the antithesis? What's the anti-seagull? And I immediately thought of an eagle. Eagles, um, you know, they symbolize so much in our country. But functionally, they both do a lot of the same things. They fly, they eat, they do a lot of things the same way, right? Um, the difference is they do things at a much different level. Seagulls are scavengers, they're bottom feeders, they eat garbage, they fly together, they, relatively speaking, they fly low compared to an eagle, right? And, and then I'm starting to think about, what does an eagle do? And eagle, eagles, typically they, they, they fly high, they soar, they, they fly alone, they're trained instinctual hunters, and they are rare. They're, you know, the, there's not as many eagles as there are seagulls. And as I'm thinking about this, I'm also thinking about my goals and my resolutions and my ideas of what I want to achieve, not just for 2018, but you know, three, five years down the road. And I'm thinking about the fact that you've got two birds that functionally do a lot of things this, the same, just at completely different levels. And my goals could functionally be, be they're functionally their goals, but they can be at completely different levels. And I wanted to look and evaluate my goals and my resolutions and see, are they in line with the level of a seagull or the level of an eagle? And really it did, it forced me to adjust and change some things and, and some thinking and some mindset on my end. And so as you guys go about adjusting or looking or, or evaluating your goals, your resolutions, what it is you're hoping to achieve for this year and hopefully years beyond, just take a look. Are they at the level of a seagull or the level of an eagle? So hope you have a great rest of your Friday, your Flatbill Friday. Hope you have an awesome weekend, and we will talk to you next week. Stay tuned.